Bismillah Rahman Rahim, good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. Tehran hails the role played by His Majesty the Sultan in resuming and enhancing the negotiation process of the nuclear issue. Royal Navy of Oman marks its annual day and celebrates the graduation ceremony. The fifth rackets exhibition reviews the time periods of Omanis in order to shed light on civilizational role of the Sultanate. And under the theme of positive employment of social media networks, a forum is organized in the Governorate of Dakhliya. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. The Islamic Republic of Iran held the role played by His Majesty the Sultan in resuming and enhancing the negotiation process of the nuclear file. Hussein Amir Abdullahian, Assistant Foreign Minister of Iran and for Arab and the African Affairs, said in a statement that holding Iranian negotiation in Muscat with the participation of the Foreign Minister of Iran and the U.S. Secretary of State is a clear evidence of His Majesty's role in reducing the tension of the issue. From his his part, Hussein Musavian, former senior Iranian nuclear negotiator, held the good intention of Oman to solve the disagreement between Iran and USA and indicated that Tehran and Washington have complete confidence in Muscat. Royal Navy of Oman RNO marked today its annual day, which falls on the 3rd of November every year, the celebrated and the graduation of the 115th of RNO and Royal Yacht Affiliates. The ceremony was presided over by His Excellency Lieutenant General Hassan bin Mohsen Ashraiqi, Inspector General of Police and Customs, who urged the graduates to utilize the skills and exert all efforts to serve the country. The graduates performed some military skills accompanied by RNO's music band. On the occasion, the chief guest distributed appreciation certificates and prizes to top graduates and pinned medals of long service and good conduct on a number of commissioners and non-commissioners, officers and personnel of RNO. The graduates then chanted RNO's nasheed and allegiance call and cheered thrice the name of His Majesty the Sultan, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. In order to shed light on the civilizational and historical role of the Sultanate, the Fifth Rackets Exhibition was inaugurated. The event is being organized by the National Records and Archives Authority. The inauguration ceremony was held under the auspices of His Excellency Sheikh Salim bin Mustahil al Ma'ashani, advisor at the Diwan of Royal Court. More than 600 historical photos and records are displayed in the exhibition, retelling various periods in the Omani history. The event aims to showcase personal records registered by the citizens at the authority. Foreign records in which Oman was mentioned are also displayed in the addition to some maps about the country. The inauguration ceremony also included honoring the fifth batch of citizens who registered their personal records. Achieving international standards by electricity companies in the Sultanate, improving the level of service rendered to customers and enhancing contact with global markets were the center of discussion of Knowledge Sharing Conference of Electricity Holding Company held in Muscat. The event was presided over by His Excellency Yahya bin Saeed Al Jabri, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Special Economic Zone Authority in Dokum. On the sideline of the conference, the trademark of the company was launched. More than 300 employees of the company and a host of local and international experts take part in the three-day event. The conference came as part of continued efforts to bring together under one roof decision makers, businessmen, chief executive officers, program managers, experts, strategic partners and importers to discuss latest technologies and priorities in electricity sector. Still to come in our news bulletin. 
The Ministry of Tourism implemented promotion shows about the Salton's tourism potentials in five major German cities. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. His Excellency Sayyid Mohammed bin Sultan Al Busaidi, Minister of State and Governor of the Far, received Naval Al Amal Journey delegation of Kuwait. He welcomed the members, wishing them success. They reviewed the stages of the journey. It is worth mentioning that Al Amal Journey Boat is visiting the Sultanate for several days within its return route to Kuwait when winding up the international journey which has shed light on the disabled. In its second consecutive day, an arbitrary committee continued the final qualifying rounds for Sultan Qabu's competition for Holy Quran in which 25 got qualified in the initial round. The competition is divided into six levels and included 18 appreciation prizes for the first three winners in each level as well as 17 encouraging prizes for the participants in all levels. The disabled will also be honoured in the competition. The Public Authority for Investment Promotion and Export Development announced the details of the 6th edition of Muscat Youth Summit 2014 due to be hosted in Salala City for the first time on December 13. The summit, which will be under the theme Opening Minds and Borders, will focus on enhancing travel and tourism sectors as well as developing tourism system in the Sultanate in general and in Salala City in particular. 100 students from various nationalities in universities and colleges from the Sultanate will take part in the summit. Muscat Securities Market MSM enlisted for the first time today shares of Almaha Ceramic Company, which witnessed a great turnout by investors. Meanwhile, the general index today added 3.53 points, comprising a rise by 0.05% to close at 7,031 points. The trading value today stood at 13.27 million Omani reals, comprising a rise by 32.27% as compared to the last session, which stood at 10.03 million Omani reals. The report released by MSM pointed out that the market value rose by 0.32% to reach about 15.2 billion reals. In order to keep pace with rapid changes imposed by social communication means on various fields in life, the Ministry of Social Development organized in the Government of Dakhliya Forum under the theme of positive employment of social media networks. The forum aimed to spread awareness for society members in the mechanism of dealing with modern technologies and their users in addition to grant the families of skills of communication and aware them by legislations to use these virtual spaces. Institutional organization, build and vocational quality were highlighted points of training lecture for governmental sector employees in the government of Albremi and which organized by the small and medium-sized enterprises development within its training and educational plans. The lecture also discussed the arts of dealing with audience and effective administration skills in order to achieve more production at work and provide best governmental services. In the conclusion of its events, a traffic safety exhibition and activities in the government of South Bartner revealed the importance of traffic awareness in society. Students of Directorate General of Education in South Bartner presented final shows which highlighted the values and culture of traffic. 
traffic safety exhibition review the results of researchers, the winning schools and excelled students in the Sultanate level the governorate were honoured. College of Applied Sciences in Asur celebrated graduation of the fifth batch for the academic year 2013-2014. The total number of graduates amounted 120 male and female graduates with bachelor and diploma degrees in information technologies and communication on studies with its minor specialization, namely public relations, journalism, international communication, in addition to digital media. It was presided over by His Excellency Engineer Salim bin Nasser al Ofi, Under Secretary of the Ministry of Oil and Gas. After two days of discussions on the significance of early education stage on the formation of child personality, the FAR Preschool Education Forum concluded its activities. The event was organized by Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry branch in the Governorate. It aimed to develop education and support preschool teachers. It stressed the economic significance to invest in preschool education and develop its programs and methods. The Ministry of Tourism implemented promotion shows and Omani touristic landmarks in a number of German cities, namely Berlin, Hamburg, Dusseldorf and Frankfurt. The shows achieved a great attraction among those who are interested in tourism companies and offices as well as accompanying services in addition to touristic who wish to visit those landmarks. The statistics indicated that the number of German-speaking tourists in the Sultanate has increased by 20%. Now for the general weather forecast, clear to partly cloudy skies will prevail over the governorates of Muscat and North Sharkia with a cloud accumulation and chances of rain over Hajar Mountains and the adjoining areas. Rest of the Sultan will have clear skies. Winds will be northeast light to moderate. Seas along the southeastern coast will be rough with a maximum wave height of 3 meters, while it will be moderate over the rest of the Sultan coast with a maximum wave height of 1.5 meters. This is the Sultan of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, hear the main points once again. Tehran hails the role played by His Majesty the Sultan in resuming and enhancing the negotiation process of the nuclear issue. Royal Navy of Oman marks its annual day and celebrates the graduation ceremony. The fifth Rackets exhibition reviews time periods of Omanis in order to shed light on civilizational role of the Sultanate. And under the theme of positive employment of social media networks, a forum is organized in the governorate of Dakhliya. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the studio and the newsroom, it's good night.